Hallelujah, Apple just fixed the biggest problem with the iPhone 14 Pro's always on display. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and seriously, this has been driving me crazy. Since I had my iPhone 14 Pro, there have been two issues that I have heard from so many different owners, and Apple is fixing this major issue with the iPhone 14 Pro display here in an upcoming update. So first, let's talk about what the problems are and how Apple is solving them. One of the first things that people disliked was that it always showed the wallpaper even when the phone wasn't active. So just sitting there idle and you could still see your wallpaper. The time, date, all that's fine, widgets, but people didn't want to see the wallpaper the whole time. It was especially true if you used a custom photo for your background. I mean, obviously it's brighter when it's on, but in a dimly lit room, your phone is still kind of bright when it's in that idle state. People just did not want to have their wallpaper showing all the time. The other thing that people disliked about the always on display was that notifications would persistently show on the screen. So say you're in a situation where you are with a friend or a family member and you had something on the screen you didn't want them to see. Like, oh no, my wife just told me that she got Sarah a cake for her birthday and I'm sitting here with Sarah. Before, sure, the screen would light up and it would show that, but even in a moment now when the screen goes to sleep, you can still see that text message. So if this is phone is sitting there and I'm talking with Sarah, Sarah could see that message easily on the always on display and that could be a problem. You don't want everyone just reading your text messages all the time and yeah, people did not like this feature of that always on display. Fortunately, there's a new fix here in iOS 16.2 for the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. First, we're gonna jump into the settings application. We're gonna go down to display and brightness, then let's scroll down once more to the always on display. When we go in here, there's two new toggles. One to show the wallpaper and another one to show the notifications. So you can choose either one of these to use instead of having to turn off the whole always on display. So now if I turn both of these off and we lock up my phone, now it's in its off state, there's no wallpaper and no notifications, but I can still see widgets, the time, the date, all that other helpful information right here at the top. This is so much better. Of course, you can choose between both of these. So if we just do wallpaper, you can see there's my lovely wallpaper. I actually do prefer this mode here with the wallpaper there, but no notifications being displayed. This is amazing. This is such a big deal for iPhone 14 Pro owners. Seriously, this cannot be overstated how useful this is. I am beyond excited to be able to turn off notifications on that always on display. I get all of the always on display benefits, but I don't have to worry about anything, any Slack messages, any Twitter notifications, any text messages being shown to the world at all times. Now, if this doesn't bother you, that's great. You don't have to worry about it and the iPhone 14 Pro is gonna operate exactly as it does now. But I think this gives you more customization. It's more similar to how they're doing things on Android and I think it is a great upgrade to this phone. This feature is currently in beta testing with iOS 16.2 for current uh, developers and public beta testers. If you are trying it out, let me know down below in the comments. Are you excited about this? Do you think it's a good thing? Uh, and even if you're not trying out, let me know if you are excited for this. Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got so many more videos coming your way.